All right. If you're watching this video, you're interested in something that I have to say. Um, I made a lot of videos about the things that that I like and I dislike, and um, I erased all of them. And um, the reason being is because um, I had to pawn my camera. Um, other than that, um, this is how I really feel about um, voice control. And I've talked about this on my Digital Hell channel, and it's kind of unlisted and private or whatever else you want to call it. But, um, all right. If there is some kind of way that a mind control device can work, then there's somebody behind some place, either a computer based on a network, with something going to where they are able to monitor it and have a boss to make sure that they go to work and that they do their job. That's my whole idea behind voice control or placing a voice in someone's head using a mind control device. Now, I don't actually believe any of that stuff is real. It's just my own re personal research. And um, there's a lot of different things behind it. There's like, in a sense that there's um, sophisticated advanced technology out there that they have made that they are gradually placing out there like the circuit board for example there's examples on the history channel based on that particular type of circuitry but um I'm not a scientist I'm not a professional at this it's just a way to think you know people think and people get paid to think because they graduated from college and they have help others do research and they have won Nobel Peace Prizes but I'm not that kind of a person um, my whole idea with voices or being threatened or having a good idea um, it's like a triangle it's like this happens that happens and then boom you have an ending it's like it's, it's like a circle. I said a triangle, but then it turns into a circle. And then you have triangles on the circle where this situation happens and it ends up this way, but you expect it that way. But then there is an ending, but then it's a new beginning and there's a new situation. So, like, if that's going on, then there's a schedule based on voice control, mind control, and everything else that a person has to sit there and make sure something works in order for someone else, else's schedule to work and I feel like it could actually be to a point where it could actually can control a community a telepathic community or it control other people's force now recently there's been a thing with reptiles or reptilians or whatever kind of people you want to call them hybrid people, clones, or whatever else that are going to change everyone in 2012 based on the pyramid and the alignment of whatever else planets in the solar system. And um, my whole idea with that is um, with this schedule going on it's, it's going to the point where um, everything is going to be finalized just like the triangle that I described so they're going to use this particular schedule to make sure that everyone changes into this particular type of species and um yeah that's my whole idea with um voice control thing but then again people are afraid that the world had ended people are scared that there's a different schedule they all think that there's time travel they all think that you're crazy if you ever explain anything of this type of nature or if it bothers you to the point to where you want to commit suicide or all this other stuff that people people need to know self-control people need to know their resources people need to know need to know when to open their mouth when they're around people because some people will take it like yo what is this guy talking about and then some people can be like yo I understand what you're saying. I know what you're going through. I've done my research my, myself, and this is what's going on. Volcanoes are erupting. Earthquakes are happening. 
Is it man-made or is it nature? Or it was nature first and then it was man-made? Or was it either man-made, then there was this advanced technology that was granted and then they modified it, then it was man-made, then it was made nature. Or it was a prediction and somebody had it placed in the schedule and then it happened and then they were able to piece everything together. And then there's like no way to describe any of that happening because there's always a cover-up. So there's a lot of things to deal with when you're like under mind control or have voice control or you're able to hear different because I just see it as an extra way to hear, you know. Um, I want to say extra potential, but that's not a word. It's like, I, it is a word because I'm speaking English. You're able to place words together, but it's exponential and linear. Or it's an extra way to think. Or to be specific, it's extra potential. <laughs> and um, that's the thing with voice control and being monitored and having a schedule and they place these games out here like the Sam St. Road to where you are the controller and they put a movie out, The Gamer, where they actually get into detail on how holographic memory can actually change someone, how virtual reality can actually work in the real world and then they put out these zombie movies where it gets more in depth to where they place a disease with the virtual reality or the holographic memory and they place it like on certain people so they can move at a certain time so they can reappear and appear unexpectedly in certain areas in the game and it's just a game of course but there's a way to place it the way to where you thought of it we are able to take it and place it to where other people can use it like I could have an idea they could take the idea place it on somebody else that has more of a creative thought pattern than I do or they can place it to where that person has more fans than I do and they make more money than I do so it works in the end some kind of way for other people now I'm not saying that it happens all the time but because this is creative too and um yeah I don't mean to get off subject but this is what I really wanted to talk about and um it's just there's a lot of ways to cover everything up. That's what I wanted to say in that segment. That um, that if something happens, it happens. And if there's an explanation, people think that you're going to be crazy for it. And yeah, that's it. And um, there's a lot of different ways to think on it. All I can tell you is if you're having problems, keep a notebook around. Write down the phrase that comes to mind. Like, okay, I'll give you a good phrase. I love you. I love you is a good phrase, you know. A bad phrase. I'm going to do something that I'm not supposed to do. That's a bad phrase. So you can write these phrases down and calculate how many times the phrase happens in a situation. You can make the triangle to where this is what happens. This is how I think towards it. This is what actually happens. And in that way, you have the triangle. And then you can place a triangle on each situation to where, oh, this is what happened. This is the input. This is the output. Then this is everything that actually happened. And this is what I created around it. And you can have it all on one page in a notebook. And then after that, you're able to think based on that schedule. Or you cannot use a schedule or create your own schedule. But it's still creative, you know, and it's a good way to think. And it's to keep yourself preoccupied, preoccupied, I say preoccupied, preoccupied, I say preoccupied, <laughs> preoccupied with something to think about instead of let something in your head that's mental bother you. Because you have physical and you have mental and you have what actually happens. So, thanks for watching and I hope. This video has helped you if you're into government conspiracy, voice control, or creative writing. And thanks for watching. Peace.